everybody. Here is a couple videos or a, a couple topics from Article 600, which is uh, electrical signs um, and the National Electrical Code codes associated with signs. Uh, short couple videos to help you out. Obviously, there's more into Article 600. I encourage everybody to study um, and uh, get to know these codes on their own so that they can have the knowledge for themselves as they pursue their electrical career. Hey, Chad German here. 600.6 .6 talks about disconnecting means for signage. And as you can see here, all of these signs up here have individual little disconnects. 600.6A1 .6, uh, says that the disconnects have to be uh, where the conductors enter into this sign. So you can see here, those disconnects are right there. They also talk about them in 600.6A2 uh, that they have to be within sight. Um, obviously those are within sight of those signs and then um, 600.6 a2 also says if you don't have them within sight you have to have the disconnects it's not within sight to have a lockable hardware or lockable disconnecting means according to 110.25 i hope that helps you guys on your jobs and uh, understand signage a little bit better everybody chad german here behind me is a uh, a commercial building that has more than one tenant and 600.5 uh, specifically 600.5a, it says that we have to have a circuit or an outlet that is with no other loads on it. So a dedicated circuit that's 20 amp for signage on each one of those. Now you can see that these tenants, they have a signage, but none of them have electric signs. Um, and that's okay. It's not required by code that they have an electric sign, but as electricians, it's required for us to uh, provide a circuit that's accessible up here that's 20 amp for the signage on a commercial building. Hope you guys enjoy this video and that it helps you uh, on your jobs.